Good afternoon, everybody. So um, my topic is about a um, pre preliminary study on an improved LANET-5 gas identification structure for electronic noses. Um, I'll come through these parts. And uh, uh, the intervention is that um, the topic is for the electronic nose, uh, which electronic nose is some, some kind of device which could simulate uh, the olfaction system of humans or other mammals. Um, so generally it contains, oh, I'm sorry. Generally it, uh, it contains uh, a sensing part and a recognition part. So for the sensing part, there are a lot of works on the uh, gas sensor array and their interface circuit. So it mainly may be some metal oxide sensors, semiconductor sensors, and NDII electrochemical and other novel gas sensors. So these are the sensing part. And another important part is the recognizing part. It used to, uh, to do the feature extraction and order pattern recognition, such as uh, the PCA, LDA, KNN, and uh, some ANNs. And so these are the not, um, state of the art of the electronic nodes. And all of these um, algorithms, uh, um, somebody called them shallow models, corresponding to the uh, faster developing deep learning techniques. So nowadays, uh, this artificial intelligence or machine learning is developed quite fast. And uh, these models are called uh, deep models corresponding to the shallow ones. And in, during them, the convolutional neural network shows attractive development in the AI area. So that is such as the LANET5, AlexNet, Google LANET, and other CNN models have been um, proposed and applied. So th this is a typical LANET5 structure um, proposed and which has been indexed over 14,000 times so that we, our approach is based on this LANET-5 structure. So let's have a look at this LANET-5 structure. Uh, it mainly contains four kinds of layers. Um, one is that uh, the convolutional layer, convolutional layer, and uh, there's also a convolutional layer. And uh, this convolutional layer is mainly for this uh, doing a convolutional product. And uh, after this product, it will processed by a activation function, which may be the sognide or TENSIC or ILU functions. And uh, another kind of layer is the pooling layer called this one and this one. They are pooling layers. And pooling layers are doing uh, works to perform a feature selection process to reduce the data dimension, ensuring main character uh, restricts of data. So some kind of maximum pooling, mean pooling, and uh, random pooling are their uh, typical methods. And so the third kind of layer is the fully connected layer. It's about this layer. It's just like um, this uh, general layer, such as in the artificial neural networks. And finally, is the output layer. The output layer uh, maps the output of the fully connected layer to the uh, to the to the range to the range of zero to one. Uh, so this is the gen um, typical process. So this is a, uh, this is about this uh, the net five structure. Based on this, we are doing some works uh, on the uh, gas recognition. So we build up a gas sensor array. It contains, oh, sorry. it contains the general commercial sensors this, uh, from Taguchi company. These are general widely sensed uh, sensors. It could uh, respond to um, it could respond to some flammable gases and explorable gases or some uh, VOCs. So its uh, selecti select selectivity is not quite. Um, not quite good. <laughs> yes, that's the point. <laughs> so that and um, we built this setup. 
And our target now is uh, set it as the methane carbon monoxide and their mixtures. So as for carbon monoxide and methane, we set them uh, four co concentrations and their mixtures is this uh, methane of these four concentrations and with carbon monoxide of these three concentrations. And uh, in our point, our target is to only to separate, trying to separate the methane, carbon monoxide and the mixture. And uh, these are the raw data we have obtained, some typical curves. Um, we do our the experiment for each analyte at each concentration is measured five times repeatedly. So typically we have 100 sets of raw data um, measured and the sampling frequency is one hertz. So this is the setup. Um, but for deep learning method, we know that it needs large amount of data, but we only have 100 sets of data samples. And uh, you know, for this uh, gas measurement, it will take long time to, to do one test. So um, to save the time, we do some data pre-processing to expand uh, our data set. Um, so that, um, suppose this is our data for each analyte. We have um, 480 seconds of data and 12 sensors. Uh, so that uh, for CO, we have 20 samples, methane, we have 20, and gas mixtures, we have 60. Samples. So by um, by translation, we expand the data set um, using that uh, the eight equals to zero to nine, so that we have ten times of the original data set. Uh, that means we have uh, one thousand data can be used to um, training and uh, test to train and test the, um, the the structure. And after that. Uh, after that, we do some resampling. Re so that means the down sample, we make it, uh, make the data set to be uh, 40, uh, to, uh, to be actually is 12 times 12 or 24 times 12 and 48 times 12. And we put them in the gray scale and we can, show, we can see that some interesting um, images. Uh, these images for for example, these images are the typical images for the response, for the sensor real response to methane at these four concentrations. And these four images are the typical, um, typical uh, concentrations for the CO, and these are several mixture grayscale images. So we use these images as the input of the Lenet 5 structure, and we do some parameter discuss discussion. Uh, we do a bit, uh, we do some uh, experiments on this, uh, the different number of convolutional kernels for this uh, C1 and C2, C1 and, uh, C1 and C3, the convolutional kernels. We set them with 20, 30, or 15, 25, and we have some. Some, some curves, and uh, we do some experiments with different size of inputs for 12 times 12, so 48 to 48. And based on this experiment, we, we find that um, for the different uh, number of kernels and the input data size, we do some, they have obtained different recognition rate, and these are the time of the uh, du during the test period. Um, we are interested uh, in this time because that uh, the deep learning method have lots of parameters. We can have a look at this. So we build this uh, Lenet 5 structure. We have these uh, parameters. Um, we have counted all of the parameters out. It may have uh, 200 uh, convolutional neurons and do 150 and uh, lots of <laughs> neurons in these deep learning models so that uh, it will uh, cost a lot of computation um, load. And that, that is why we concentrate on this time. And we do some compare, comparison um, with the general used 
um, multi-layer perceptron that is a, a typical algorithm in artificial neural networks and the, the probabilistic neural network um, with the same input. And uh, we can see this recognition rate with, by this uh, deep learning method, by this improved Linux 5 structure, we can get a very high recognition rate. And also, the training time will be quite long. But for the test time, it's just uh, quite similar based on the same um, computation environment. Yeah. So, so, so I, I, I could, we, we can say that we can ignore this test this time thing. And uh, by this method, we can get a quite high recognition rate. So this is my uh, work. We can come to this conclusion. And um, we have done some works on the uh, CNN-based gas recognition method for electronic nodes. Um, and uh, an improved Linux 5 structure is designed and their parameters we have, we have uh, studied. Also, for this uh, structure, uh, we propose this three scale order patterns for gas presentations. And compared with the general um, MLP and PNN, this improved gas CNN obtained higher classification uh, accuracy, which improves the correctness of the structure and the effectiveness of the algorithm. Um, for the works, I think we should uh, do um, some try some more real data to confirm this method and apply it to more kinds of guesses and uh, quantification problems. So this is our further works. Thank you.